What's up guys, good morning. Welcome back to another episode. Dropped my girlfriend off at work this morning. Sundays are usually early mornings because she opens. So I'm out shooting the Canon FTB. Got some Tri-X loaded in here. Um, just kind of kicking around and killing some time. I kind of want to go thrifting at the antique mall, but they only open at one. So I still got a handful of hours until they open. So yeah, hopefully we'll get to the mall, the antique mall, and hopefully there's some good cameras. So I'll check in with you when we get there. I also had it on my list for a while now to clean and organize my office. So antique mall and clean and organize the office. I need to make some developer too. I need to make a new batch of D76. I'm also gonna try out the Kodak HC110. I'm not gonna make that in big batches. I'm just gonna make that in small little batches. So that's the agenda. Antique mall, clean office, make developer, and then probably develop some film. Cool. All right, so I'm just gonna mix up a bag of D76. Now this is a one gallon mix, it's a powder mix. You can pick this up on Amazon or any camera shop in your local area. I'm sure B&H, all those places carry this. It's relatively cheap, I think it's around eight to 10 bucks for a gallon bag. They also make it in liter bags, which is really small, but the shelf life on this stuff is, it lasts pretty long, I, I mean, I, usually go through one of these every six months. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I just go until it's exhausted. You can start to tell your negatives will be real thin and light. I mix this gallon bag in this one gallon pitcher that I just picked up at TJ Maxx. I fill this up and I mix the powder in here and then it's got this spout and I'll use the spout to fill up. I usually, it usually fills up three of these. It'll fill two completely up and then a half. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna make some fresh D76. I did buy Kodak's HC110 and I do plan on using that. I just want, you know, I just want D76 on hand, ready to go for when, you know, if if the, the HC110 isn't working out as planned or I don't feel as comfortable using that. And, you know, I just, I just wanna have this on hand and ready to go. Chemicals are mixed. I just need to clean everything up and then So went into the thrift store. It was a bit of a bust. Didn't find anything at my normal stand where they have all the like old quirky, you know, old Ansco, old Kodak brownies and stuff like that. Sometimes I can find a gem. I found a couple really good cameras in there already. Found a Canonette there. Found my Polaroid 100 there. On my way out, I was just looking in the glass shelves and I found an old Canon Rebel. So it looks like it'll take my EOS lenses and uh, it was a dead battery. It was for 20. I talked her down to 15. Kind of rolled the dice on it. It might work. It might not. So we'll see. But I'm just cruising down the railroad tracks now. It's just really nice out. So kind of just ending my day of sunlight down here, down by the river.
fun. Took about 10 shots, shot a Polaroid, shot a bunch of this video. Just a great night, like it's almost warm. For November, I'm not complaining. Guess I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna work on cleaning up my office. Was supposed to record analog talk this evening, but it's just not gonna happen. I was also thinking about recording an episode of We Believe in Film for catching up for missing my Friday episode. Just a busy weekend. Still trying to figure out what I wanna do for my Wednesday video. I was thinking about another disposable camera challenge because the last one failed. Oh, that breeze. I'm surprised I don't see any deer out here. It's a lot darker than this camera's letting on. We'll figure it out.